always welcome here. So excuse the whole like no makeup, whatever vibe I have going on right now. I'm not really feeling very well, but I didn't want to not say what I had to say. And I also didn't want to forget because that can happen. Um, I've been running across this a lot lately and people ask me a lot, um, what happened to you? What happened to you? What's wrong with you? Why you like that? Okay. First, let me just say, as a disabled person, um, if you are disabled, it is absolutely okay to not answer these questions from strangers. It is okay. You do not owe anybody your entire medical history just for existing. Not only do you not owe it to them, but you don't owe them an explanation. You don't owe him them a reason why you don't want to tell them what's wrong with you. Um, these are invasive questions and you don't have to answer them. And if you are an able-bodied person, just imagine that someone was asking you the most intimate questions of your life. What if nothing happened to me? So I am, I put myself in a position where I am willing to talk about what's wrong with me, um, publicly. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm always open to it when I'm going to a grocery store. And I always felt a little bit obligated to kind of educate everybody as to like, what's wrong with me, what it means, what it, what it entails. Honestly, um, nobody really cares. The bottom line is they don't actually care if it's not a seriously huge traumatic answer um, or if it's not like something inspirational to make them feel good about themselves because people only are really asking so that they can feel good about themselves somehow and it's it's okay to not answer it's okay to just let people exist without asking them the most intimate questions um, about why they exist the way that they do they don't owe you an explanation of that. Now, if you have been friends with somebody for a very long time who is in a wheelchair or any amount of time where they feel comfortable, after a while, they'll probably tell you anyway or you'll probably find out through ca casual conversation because most disabled people, our lives revol revolve around our disabilities. So we do actually let people into what at, what is really wrong after a while. But it's not always information that we divulge to strangers. Some people went through very traumatic events, and that is why they have a disability. Some people were born the way they are and just don't. And it's almost offensive to be asked the question their entire lives. So just have some basic human respect for other people. Keep in mind that everybody is human. People with disabilities are just people. You know, I'm in a wheelchair, but it just means I'm sitting down. And yeah, I have pain and things to deal with. I'm sure you have things to deal with. I'm pretty sure everyone has things to deal with. The world we are living in now, you can't exist without dealing with things. And I'm, I respect the privacy of others and try not to ask invasive questions of strangers on the street. And I expect the same in return. It's not too much to ask. So if you ever wondered what a disabled person's existence meant or why they're the way they are, just keep in mind, it's really none of your business. I mean... As nice and as positive as I am, it, it genuinely isn't anybody's business if they don't want to tell the story. So allow people to tell their stories at their pace and at their comfort without maybe walking up to strangers and being like, you in a wheelchair? How you have seven kids? What's wrong with you? You know, it's not, it's not a good look. So let's just avoid it, you know? The world will be a much better place. We don't need to share every detail of our entire medical history to justify you believing our disability. As always, I thank you for being here. I thank you for taking a few minutes of your time and spending them here with me. 
I hope everyone is having an absolutely amazing day. Until next time, bye!